God, how much work can you pile on one person? Timesheets, payroll, now finance charts. Shit, I need a break. Oh, hey baby. You look chipper. My day was fine, just busy. I'm still working, actually. I know you don't like for me to bring work home, and trust me, I don't either, but it's Friday. I need to get stuff in before the weekend starts, and this just couldn't be avoided. Something to tell me. Can it wait, love? I, I really need to finish this. How long? Uh, I don't know. Maybe an hour or two? Three? Being a department head isn't exactly a breeze. I know you need to talk to me. I heard you the first time. I have ears. Baby, please, just give me a chance to finish this and we can talk. I promise. <sighs> Why don't you go grab a snack or something and just... Just hang out on the couch until I'm done. Not hungry. Or just, just watch TV or play a game. <sighs> Fine, you can stay in here. Just, just try and keep it down. I really need to focus, okay? Huh? Oh, these are charts displaying our profits for this quarter. Look, this isn't really time for questions, okay? <sighs> Please, babe, no shoulder massage right now. It's a little distracting. Baby, I really don't need you hovering over me while I'm at work. No! I don't know how long I'll be. I'm trying to work as fast as I can, but that's kind of hard when my usually understanding girlfriend suddenly flips a switch and becomes an annoying fucking pest. I don't get it. I bust my ass day in and day out so that you, you can be comfortable at home. I haven't complained that you haven't cooked, done dishes, or the fact that you've slept in well past nine o'clock for a week. I didn't even say a single word about how you skipped out on my work dinner the other night because you weren't feeling well. Then I come home to find you eating Twinkies. Now, all I ask for is a few hours of quiet to try and get some work done. And I can't get that. Oh, now you're quiet. Well, now you've got my full undivided attention. What is it, huh? What was so important that it couldn't wait a couple more hours? You're pregnant. I'm going to be a dad. Baby, wait. Uh... <laughs> She's pregnant, but I didn't see any signs. Oh, my God. The fatigue, her aversion to food and cooking, her being sick, the damn Twinkies. How did I not see it? Have I really been that busy? Oh, I said all that shit to her. Threw it in her face when it wasn't her fault at all. I, I made her cry. I've made my pregnant girlfriend cry. God, I'm a piece of shit. I brought home all of my work stress and blew up on her. I've been so caught up in work that I didn't even ask her how her day was or what she did today. What the fuck is wrong with me? Ah! All she's been talking about is having a baby And she was so excited when we finally started trying She looked so happy when she came home And now she looks like her spirit's been crushed I can't believe I did that God, I have to apologize God damn, this fucking job Okay, let's just send a couple of these emails and I'll go oh, You know what, fuck it all of that can wait. I need to go check on her. Baby, can I come in? Please, I really need to apologise to you. To 
both of you. Please, baby. Look, baby, I... Oh, man, she fell asleep fast. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together. She's got tear stains on her face and such a piece of shit. Good night, my love. To my little bean in there. I promise to make your mummy as happy as possible while you're in there. I guess I'm off to a really bad start. Try not to give her a hard time like I did, yeah. Like, I love you. I can't believe I'm gonna be someone's dad. <clears throat> Man, what time is it? Six thirty. Oh, I must have knocked out on my desk while finishing work stuff. Did I get everything done? Why didn't she wake me? Oh, right, we fought. Well, more like I yelled and she cried. Man, I'd better go check on her. I never did get to apologise. Love, can I come in? Baby, are you okay in there? If you're still sleeping, I'll just climb in with... Oh my God, ba baby, are you okay? You don't look fine. You're pale and throwing up and lying on the bathroom floor. Morning sickness. Oh, right. Is there anything I can do for you, baby? Water, of course. I'll be right back. Hey, love. Can you stand? Let me help you up and, and get you in the bed. Ah. Feeling a little better? Still a bit nauseous, huh? Hey, little one. Let's try and be nice to mummy, okay? She needs all the energy she can get so you can be healthy. There's that beautiful smile. Listen, baby, I'm so sorry about yesterday. I've been stressed out from work these past few weeks and all of it just got too much. I've been taking on so many tasks and trying so hard to get this promotion and <sighs> you know what? I'm not going to make this about me. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making you cry. I'm sorry for being so awful to you and saying those things to you about the housework and that boring, boring ass work dinner. That was stupid of me. I've been working so hard that I haven't taken the time to check in with you and see what was going on. All I saw were things suddenly not being done, and I never even thought to ask you if everything's okay. And that's not fair to you. I was an asshole. I was selfish and rude and petty and... And you're hugging me. But you should be mad at me. How can you not be mad at me? You heard me talking to the baby. I thought you were asleep. You almost were until I came in. Well, I understand why you didn't say anything last night. I really am sorry, baby. I promise to you both that that will never happen again. I won't let work cause me so much stress that I bring it home to you two. You both deserve better than that. Tell me. Tell me what I can do to make it up to you. Just lay here with you. Of course, baby. Can I hold you? Oh, thank you. God, feels like forever since I've had you in my arms. I miss this. Can I ask you a question? How did you find out? I mean, now I know everything you've been feeling is because of the baby, but what made you find out for sure? 
You were throwing up all evening, so you took a test last night. Where was I? <sighs> of course, at the damn office. Then you went to the doctor today, just to be sure. How far along did they say you were? Eight weeks. Wow. That's so crazy to think that we're going to be parents. Can I ask another question? How do you feel? I know you're excited. I keep thinking of that look on your face when you came in. You look like you'd won the lottery, but how do you really feel? So you feel nervous about the process and scared that you won't be a good mum. Oh, baby. I can understand being nervous about everything changing. Yeah. Your body's going to change, but the way I feel about you won't. You're already so beautiful now. The fact that you're growing our baby inside of you will only enhance that beauty. I wish I could say that everything will be easy. I think we both know that's not how this works, but I can promise that I'll be with you every step of the way. I'll be here to hold your hand, to rub your feet, and make all the late night Twinkie runs that you need. That's for being scared of being a bad mum. Look, I can guarantee that you will be the best mum in the world. You're smart. You're kind, patient, and you have so much love to give. Our baby's going to be the luckiest in the world. You're going to make a perfect mum. Can I be honest? I'm kind of feeling the same way. I just mean, what if I'm not a good dad? My dad was not really a dad at all. The man was more concerned with the bar and his buddies than his family. He was rarely around, and whenever he did, bother to show up. We prayed that he'd hurry up and leave. He barely paid attention to us kids and the way he treated my mum. I just, I just don't want to be like him at all. Yeah, you're right. I'm not my dad. You always tell me that. Listen, baby, I'm, I'm going to slow it down at work so that I can be here for you two. No, baby, don't apologize. You did nothing wrong. Yesterday was all on me. I've been working way too hard and it's getting to me. It's getting to us. I need to start prioritizing what's really important. You two. My family. Not some thankless job. Besides, I plan to be at every appointment, every shopping trip, birthing classes, and I need time to get the nursery together. I'm making myself available for all things, baby. Oh yeah, I'm going full dad mode. Sneakers, cargo shorts, and long white socks. Oh yeah. <laughs> no need to thank me, love. We're doing this together. I love you. I love both of you. Both of my babies. <laughs> oh baby, you look so sleepy. Why don't you lay down? And you're hungry. I'll get you whatever you want. You don't really have much of an appetite. Oh, that's okay. Just just rest, babe. You want me to stay with you? Of course, baby. You don't even have to ask. Look, I know it's early, but have you thought about names? For a girl, I've always liked Natalia. And for a boy, what about James? <laughs> and you're asleep already. I love you so much.